Hello, great people. You are welcome back to Physical Course Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. We appreciate as many that has been subscribed to this uh, wonderful channel. And uh, if you are yet to subscribe, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. So today, I want to teach you how to make a perfect corset. And uh, for this project, I'll be using this uh, emerald uh, green velvet material this uh, regulin bone and this is uh, under wire it is optional so i just got this from my old uh, bra so we we need our wording the medium size i mean the tip is thick a bit not the lighter one so we need this so, let's go and this is the bodies I'll be using for this uh, project. The length will be working because we are stopping it by, I mean, at the half length. And the length will be using this, uh, 17 inches. We're using 17 inches. The solder length, we have solder length of uh, 7 inches. That is uh, 14 divided by 2, give us 7 inches. This is the hammer line of uh, 8 inches and shoulder slope of one inch. This is our chest, upper chest line, six inches. This is our bust point line, nine inches. And the under bust line is 12 inches. So, and the waist line, 17 inches. So the breast apart we are working with is eight inches. So we divide eight inches by two, give us a four inches this is four inches here we measure it at the upper chest line here we measure it at the waist i mean line here that is our length then we connect it so that's the this line is a both span line so now to make our corsets the first thing we have to do is to come to the left and right by one one inches we come to this side on that is on our under bust line we come to the right by one inch, we come to the left by one inch. We do the same thing at the waistline. We come to the left and to the right with a one, one inch. One inch, one inch. Then we connect it just like this. So the next thing we have to do is to take our French cuff to connect from this uh, one inch coming to the left and right now. We now connect it to the boss point with a French cuff. If you want to use a free hand sketch, if you don't have a French cuff, all you need to do is to come up, come up by one or three quarter to one inch. Then you do the same thing down, come down with three quarter to one inch. Then you now use your free hand sketch to connect it to that point but with the help of a um, French cuff you are good to go just straight up just like this you do the same thing by the right side and the right side yes so now you do the same thing at the upper chest line to come to the right by one, come to the left by one inch. So you connect it with your French curve as well. Just like this. Yes. This is it. The next thing I want to do is to get my cup proper now. So, and to achieve that, the first thing I'm to do is to get the depth of my neckline. I mean, how deep I want my neckline to be. You can make yours seven, it could be seven and a half, eight. Even some people go as far as nine inches. But for me, I'll be using eight inches. I think that is a, that one is probably moderate because I don't want the cleavage to be so much. So I'm using eight inches as my as the depth of my neckline. 
So on that eight inches point, all I'll do is just to come inside with half an inch. I mark half an inch. I mark it down here. Then I connect it. Connect it. Then I connect it to the down. So yes. So the next thing I'm to do now to get the cup is to check the different. I will now check the difference between my boss point to my Honda boss. So from my boss point to my Honda boss, the difference I'm having is three inches. You can see from here to here is three inches. So it's, it's that three inches I will now get at this uh, boss point. I'll come to this side with a uh, three inches. I mean, I'll come to the center front with three inches. I mark it. Then I take my French cuff to connect to this uh, point. You place your French cuff to connect from here to this uh, hand by placing your French cuff like this. And you can see the, the French cuff is almost eating the three inches you come here with. Just like this. So we just pass through it. Yes. Just like this. You can see the three inches you come. So the next thing we have to do is to connect from this point. Now you now connect to this end with your French cuff. Yes. So the cup for this side has been you know created. So now the next thing is to achieve the cup for the side of our corset. This is the center front, this is the side. So to achieve that, the three inches you have here, the difference of three inches you have here, you are going to add half to it to create the the cup for the for this side. The reason being that if you you we notice that the our, the bust used to be fuller at the side than the center front. So to create a, you know, more room for the, you know, for the bust to enter the cup for this side. So we had half to it. So for this side, we are going to mark three and a half. Three and a half. You mark it. Then from there, you now connect to this end with your French cuff. Yes. So for this side, for this place now, you now come up with a one inch. Come up with one inch, just like this. You connect it with your straight ruler. Then from this point, you come to this side with the three and the same three and a half you get here. You diagonally place your, you know, your tape proof, I mean tape measure from this point, you mark it. You mark it. Then you use your French cuff to connect to this end. So you can see as I'm connecting from here to, to this point, it goes directly to hit this, just like this. Yes. So you can see the curve for this side has been created as well. So our curve, the curve for our corset has been, you know, draft, uh, drafted out now. So the next thing we have to do now is to get our horizontal measurement proper now. The bust we are working with is a size 36. So if you divide 36 by four, it gives us a nine inches. So on the on the bust line, you get your your bust measurements on this line. So the bust measurements is a nine inches. So on this nine inches, you replace what you are having here. You replace you replace it. We're having like a 
half an inch here, you return it. Then, seam allowance of uh, two inches. The, the underboss circumference we are working with is a uh, 26. If we divide 26 by, by four, it gives us a six and a half. We get six and a half on this line. We return two inches we are having inside here. Then two inches a uh, seam allowance. So for the waist, the waist circumference we are working with is a uh, 28. 28 divided by four give us a seven. We measure seven here. These two inches we are having here, we return it. Then two inches as our seam allowance. Then we connect it. Yes. So now, for the our corset has been created. I just want to let me blend this. So this we just as it looks like this. Just blend it to this, just like this. Yes. So now you blend this. Place as it is, yes. then here, this is the center front to get a you know the sweet, sweet at a shape. I blend it now. This it is this, this is the corset pattern now. So we want to cut it out now. All this area will be cut. So, all we need to do now is to mark our pattern. Hop A, hop B. So, this is a center, center side side so this is a center front center front Meet. So this is the center front. This one is normal. It's clear. Yes. This is the bodies for the for the back. So to draft the back cut of our corset now. So this is the you know shoulder shoulder line seven inches. Firstly, we measure one quarter. One quarter up here, one quarter up here. I mean, down here, we connect it, we roll it together. And the length we are using is a 17 as well for the half back. So 
the next thing we do is we get our um, shoulder line of seven inches, 14 divided by two, give us seven inches. So we get our hammer line of eight inches. We come down with one inch as a shoulder slope. Then the depth of the neck for the back, one, I mean, one inch. Then the wideness is three inches. We connect it together. Then this is the boss point line, nine inches. So what we do is that the our uh, boss pan that is nipple to nipple, eight inches, we divided it by two that we use in the front for that four inches. We, we get it here. We measure four inches. We mark it here. So having done that, the next thing we have to do is for this uh, waist line. And you know, our um, waist measurements, the waist circumference, uh, circumference we are working with is 28. So that 28 here now for this back, we divide it by eight. When we divide by 28 by eight, it gives us a three and a half. We mark three and a half. We get the dart of one inch. We mark it. Then we get three and a half again. We are going to measure that three and a half twice. So we get three and a half. Then we we get a seam allowance of a one and a half inch. So I'm trying to one and a half inches. I'm trying to get the dart first. So now this dart of one inch, we now divide it. We get the center point of it, which is a half. Having got uh, this now, so we will now measure what you are having. If you measure what you are having from here to this center now, you can see that it's four, four inches as we have fit in the uh, bus span here. So you now connect it together. Then you now get your dots proper by connecting this uh, side and this side to the hole. So yes, we have gotten our darts now. So the next thing is to measure our bust. The bust we are working with is a 36. We divide 36 by nine, four. It gives us a nine inches. We get our nine inches. Then we, we get our seam allowance of uh, one and a half inches. So, we connect it. Then we get a, we shape our back by connecting from this point. We connect, we slantly link it to the up. So from this line now, we place it and link it to the up part. So now, what we are having here, when you measure from here to here now, you know, we have a one quarter to replace it here. So that you won't have a shortage of fabric. You replace it here. When you measure this from this line to here now, we have a, like a, a three quarter, 0 0.75. You return it. Then you connect it back. So that you won't have a shortage of fabric by the time you... So the next thing we want to do now is to now, you know, shape our back. We shape our back the way you want your back to be. We do that now. You know, this is a eight inches. This is our ham hole line, eight inches. So this line now, you connect it to this end so that, so as to blend to the front cut. You just connect it, you link it together. 
So now to shape our back, I will want my back to come down like a, you know, to be like a on ten. Let let it be on ten. So I want to to shape it. You can make it a, you know, this is a ammo line of eight inches. This is eight inches. Yeah, now this is eight inches. So if you want your back back to be straight, you will just connect this line together and cut it out. But to beautify our back, I want it to puff a bit. So you can bring it down from this point. You can bring it down like one or two. So let me just be in between. I will bring it down by one and a half. Then I use my French curve to connect it. You can use your straight ruler even to connect the zipper parts just like this. So now we are going to cut it out too. This is our the uh, back cut of our corset now. So you don't need to cut this that out. You just notch it just like this. So let me shape the back for the center back you cut this out for this center back it depends on now you know deep the back of your client is many a times you can just measure quarter out like this you mark the quarter then you shape it so but you can still come onto this zipper line to shape it, it doesn't spoil anything So this is back cut now. If I open it, this is the way it will be. Yes. This is our corset pattern drafting. And the next thing we have to do is to go and use this one to cut out our fabric. And to achieve that, we when we place it on our fabric, we have half an inch must be added to all the side of this half an inch must be added likewise this then half an inch must be added to all all this side all this side half an inch must be added half an inch must be added even hop a half an inch must be added the same thing applies to this half an inch must be added so when we now after cutting out our fabric this, uh, this pattern, without adding anything, will be used to cut out our body. So it's advisable to first of all, you know, um, gum uh, EST or your fabric even before applying um, body to it. I don't have EST available at the moment, but if I get, I will press the EST on my fabric before applying the body, then I will use. The same favorite to cut out my lining, so nothing will be added to the lining. Then we are good to go. So let me go and use this pattern to cut out the material. This is it. The we have cut out our fabric, adding a half an inch go round here. Then we added half an inch this side. Then half an inch is added this way. So this is the back cut. This is the back cut. So this is the side of the back cut. Why this is the this is the center center back where sipa will be placed. So this these ones we're having here is lining that the um wording is not attached to. But this is the main fabric. Wording has been attached to this. Remember to add your hair stay before you um, paste your wording. This is the side. No wording for the side and the center front. But for the cup, wording has been added. So the next thing is to go and join it first on this center with a, that 
have an niche enjoy so we have to you have to you know mark all your pieces so that they won't there won't be any miss up so you have to know which one is up which one is uh, down so you just be following all the mark you have initially marked on it so then this place will be joined together you open this you join okay you join this this side you join it here then the other one the second one under will be will be joined here this you, you join this with half an inch and join it with half an inch here I've, uh, I just use a pin to secure all those areas that we are going to join with half an inch. I use pin to secure this place. I've done the same thing here. You can see this is what we are having. Then this is the cup. I use pin to join it. So this is the down part. You ensure that this joining place we align with the joining here when you want to join it together with half an inch. Join it like this we have an inch start from this center so that everything will be aligned so that is exactly what i'm going to do now so i will do it to this second one and then after joining this center i uh, ensure that you high on it very well give it very good praise so that the cup will form very beautiful now i just Use the office pin to secure it just to show you the next line of uh, action. So after we stitch it, all this area that I pin up, after stitching it, we now apply our regular bone. You know, we apply it on the joining part here, placing it this way. You will have secured this place with a masking tape so that it will not be poking. So you just place it this way. You can this is the bone you can sew on. You can sew on this is regular bone. Needle can enter into it. So you just you will have after joining all this side, you will have opened it and iron it very well. Then you place your regular bone at the center. Just like this. You place it on the on the center with their place where you stitch after you use your iron to open it very uh -huh, iron it very well you now sew on it this side you sew both sides on it you do the same thing here then at the center a you you mark the center then you sew on it at the center so that your the bodies will not be folded so this is the back cut now so this is the that area that I've notched. So you hold your darts straight to this end with half an inch. So that the dart you hold, you open it. So you iron it, you open it and iron it very well, just the way you're doing it. From there you place your regular bone on it, secure, leaving half an inch, the half an inch that you use and join it's to the lining. You leave it, you leave half an inch both uh, up and down. You leave half, half an inch. You, you secure it with your masking tape uh, up and down. Then you sew on it. Go this way. So now to apply our underwire to our corset. So all you need to do is after you have joined this this is your cork together with the bodies right like this so you now you know place you stitch it you stitch on it round, leaving space of a like a quarter 0 0.25 that's a the wire the under wire can enter into you just insert it this is the way it's going to you mind the way you can see the way the underwire is you can see that this side this is the side this is the center front because one side is higher than one side so this so this will be the center front so when you are placing you are, when you are inserting your underwire take note of this uh, difference so you just 
insert it this way that it will go in such a way that this this will fall into center front side so those are the things i'm going to do with our corset now you just join all the the lining you join the lining you know you are not putting the bony on your lining so you just join it normal and then you join the lining to the fabric, to the main fabric. now our beautiful corset uh, bodice is ready you can see how beautiful and neat it looks this is the front feel and this is the you know i didn't mean this is the right feel this is the wrong side so you can see how everything looks uh, perfect and neat i hope you have learned a lot from this uh, video so if you try to like share with your friends and uh, drop your comments on our comment section and subscribe to this uh, wonderful channel thank you very much see you next time